nullification. They are nullifying the enumerated powers of the federal government defined by the United States Constitution. Article 1, Section 8, the Congress controls and creates laws pertaining to immigration. Back then they called it naturalization. Yet, we have the city of San Francisco not only defying federal law and the supremacy clause of the Constitution, but now the mayor and company are suing the president in his plan to withhold federal dollars from municipalities that flagrantly usurp the laws of the land. San Francisco city attorney calls Trump's anti-sanctuary orders unconstitutional and un-American. He is wrong on both counts. One, it is constitutional for the president to carry out the enforcement of federal law. And two, it is wholly 100% American to want to protect U.S. citizens from foreign invaders, a.k.a. illegal immigrants. That's what the governor of Texas is trying to do as he cracks down on so-called sanctuary cities like Austin. But of course, in California, Governor Moonbeam wouldn't even think of it. In fact, Moonbeam openly supports wacko, anti-constitutional city leaders like San Francisco's mayor, Edwin Lee. Fear prevents people from working with our police department and our law enforcement officials from keeping their neighborhoods safe. Stop safe. You know, I've heard this argument uh, from the police chief in Los Angeles as well, Charlie Beck. It's a complete and total non sequitur to what we're talking about. We're talking about people who have violated our sovereignty. They shouldn't be here in the first place, Mayor. Of course they're afraid of law enforcement. They should be. They have committed a crime by violating our border, just like bank robbers would be afraid of the police. These people should be too, because they should be arrested and they should be deported. Wrong tape. Fear is what we contest against because we want people who are in San Francisco to live their lives freely and proudly. I grew up in the city by the bay. I grew up in San Francisco and I can attest that there is no freer, and I mean free, city in the United States than San Francisco. And it is overboard in the Freedom Department. For example, bums, I guess we can't call them that anymore, homeless people, whatever you want, can urinate on the street with impunity. And the city of San Francisco will do nothing about it. Have you ever been to one of the parades in San Francisco? It's unique, to say the least. But what about Kate Steinle, Mayor? What about Kate Steinle's freedoms that were taken away by one of the people that you are harboring, by one of the illegal immigrants that you're trying to protect? Hmm? What about her freedoms? Roll tape. And associate themselves with the religion that they wish to, with their orientation the Stop way it. they wish to. Hey, buddy, can you move? The mayor is trying to talk about orientation, and he's not talking about feng shui, I don't think. Roll tape. Uh, with the communities of color and the communities in general that they wish to. Because this Stop is this. what... How is it protecting this country from illegal alien invaders is somehow going to hurt individual communities in San Francisco? You look at the gay community in San Francisco, one of the most productive communities in that city. Don't they deserve protection, Mayor, from illegal immigrants? who are harming their quality of life in San Francisco. San Francisco used to be a beautiful city. It still is a beautiful city, but it's been corrupt through and through by crazy leaders like this guy. Roll tape. But San Francisco is all about. <laughs> and Mohammed were... <laughs> Was that a Freudian? San Francisco? <laughs> Just wondering, man. Roll tape. We're here today with the Islamic Society because Sanctuary refuge are part of our city's DNA. Stop it. You're, you're there with care in the Islamic society because you two have a common interest, and that is destroying the law and order, the civil society of the United States of America. And people like you need to be held accounted to. So here's what Trump should do with Mayor Edwin Lee fly into SFO on Air Force One with his Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, stop off in Chinatown at Sam Woe's restaurant for the house chow mein, which is less than $10 a plate. It's a steal, and it's really good. Pay the bill, go to City Hall, and say to the mayor, Hi, I'm 
Donald Trump, and you're under arrest. Book them, Jeff. Coming up next, the brazen Black Lives Matter call to commit murder as the Daily Ledger continues. We needed to hire...